Welcome back to the Content Complete Podcast. Feature myself, Spencer, and my co-host, Matt, with Neanderthal Gaming TV. And in the nobles' quarters of this ancient city of Rome, in the fifth tower above the rest of the world, looking down upon the filth and decadence. Fist cake, how's it going? Hey, pretty good. Also, I'm, I'm not I'm not any of that. I'm just a producer here. And Matt, you didn't clear with me if you can use the gun sound effects and... Uh, <laughs> We're already over budget before we even add those things. <laughs> we know we run a very we're, we we stretch the dollar so thin you can see right through it. And I, don't put the gun away. It's coming out of your paycheck. Oh god, <laughs> damn! It. I quit. I fucking quit. I hate. What's this. up, Tag? No oh yeah, hey Tag, what's going on? So no Gundams? No, dude, no Gundams. All right. No. Gu- <laughs> Well, well, if it was my ship, I, we'd have Gundams. <laughs> well, we can't afford Gundams. You don't even until like we... Gundam. I, I know. Well, I'm just saying. Which is crazy, because <laughs> I'm not even sure if you've seen Gundam at all. I don't know. I played the fighting game once. It was okay. <laughs> You're telling me... I played me, a game once. Like, I could, we could have been watching Mobile Suit Gundam. I've always uh, wanted to watch that. I've never seen it. Okay. And it has well, big what... robots. And I like yeah. robots. Tech's going through Gundam Wing Zero right now as we speak. Well, I think. Last I heard. But um, yeah, it's good. I, I I recommend it. Some of them, not well. Isn't like I've only Gundam seen two. Seed like the best one? Or more, okay, more. this is not an anime uh, podcast. All right, sorry. Uh, Fist cake. Uh, well, for, we're gonna start with what we play this week. Uh, Fist cake. Why don't you start us off? I played video games and stuff. Also last week because uh, we didn't have a podcast. <laughs> yeah, because I was. This, this is a bi-monthly podcast now. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. Bi- well, luckily, I'm I'm done doing stuff for a couple months, but that's negated by the fact that. Matthew is leaving us for two years yeah, or months. Yeah. Two months. Yeah. Two months. Uh, mm-hmm. year. Yeah, months. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's two decades. years. I'll be leaving decades. for two decades. I'll be 40 when I come back. I, I don't want to be that guy, but I don't know <laughs> if I'm going to be doing this show when I'm, when I'm 40. So I, I might have to. Yo, if this, if this takes off, we're doing it when we're 40. Okay. All right. <laughs> Don't hurt me, please. I mean, if Wait. this becomes like monetarily viable. <laughs> yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. but that you know, you better believe we're getting that Madrina sponsorship. Oh god, the what sponsorship? Madrina's is like uh, a coffee uh, streamers uh, sponsored oh. by this coffee brand. Mm-hmm. Show one of the Casper. Everybody understands the Casper reference. Uh, it's the beds, joke. right? I don't know what that is. is. Yeah, it's the mattresses. I had to pull that one out. Well, you should have said it's Squarespace. That's the one. Everybody Squarespace. There we go. That's universal. I would have known that one. Yeah. Everybody uses Squarespace because it's so easy to use to make your own website. <laughs> well, always... until they pay us, I'm not shilling for nobody. That's true. Squarespace. The space that's square. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a circle. <laughs> I played video games. Um, I tried to beat Sekiro. But I suck at Sekiro, so I didn't beat Sekiro. But I got pretty close to being Sekiro. But I'm not quite close enough because I still suck at Sekiro. Um, I feel like Fist Cake, you're selling yourself short here, right, dude? Uh, Fist Cake uh, had a hard time beating the final boss of the game. Oh, I'm bad at the game. I'm at the final boss, and I had a hard time. All right, dude? You're not bad. Dude, you just haven't figured it out. On the subreddit, there's these fuckers. Uh, they're like, it took me like four days. To beat him. I've been stuck on the final boss for four days. Mm. Fucking how? Are you paying, or like playing like 15 minutes at a time? How are you Probably. stuck on that for... Play the fucking game <laughs> the way it's meant to be played, idiot. All right? <laughs> it's, it's easy. Okay? Well, the concept is easy. I mean... Yeah. The boss is hard, but just like... I don't know. If you're stuck on four days, I don't like... I got nothing to help you. I can't teach you anything. Some people quit the game they, you're already because an they idiot. couldn't beat him. They just like we're like I can't do it, and they just quit. Yo, but Matt, uh, if you're going for people should play the game, it's what it's the way it's made. Why did you go for easy mode two weeks ago? 
it doesn't matter. You think, it, add an easy mode too. Maybe then these motherfuckers will be able to beat it, and it won't take them four days. I will say, over the whole like easy mode thing, I think the coolest mod they've come out with, not they, not FromSoft's not, no, uh, unofficial modders came out with like uh, animation speed sliders, so you yeah, can adjust cool. the the speed like, of the exactly what, you, what Matt was saying that they should do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's that's actually pretty sick. Yeah, yeah it's such but, a uh, simple solution to a problem that doesn't affect most people. Yeah. But anyways, yeah. back to me being bad at video games. Um, <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> just trash. Uh, just trash. But no, I mean, I've been trying. I tried some more this morning. Like, I was like, uh, I'll go uh, hunt down some other things. I killed uh, the Red Guard. I got the Spear guy, finally. And I got a couple more prayer beads. So I was, had, like, I have more vitality and whatnot. Oh, yeah. But uh, I still wasn't able to get past him. I got, I got to the second form. Uh, like the la like if I breathed on him one more time, I would have done a death blow. But then he just like oh spears in the mm -hmm. air. I'm like oh yeah. that's cool, sweet. I must have yeah. great. Um, <laughs> so that that I'll probably be playing that again on Friday for sure. So stay tuned for that for fuck me up Fridays. That's my nice. new slogan for Fridays. Uh, we we played Risk of Rain two on Wednesday. That, that was fun. Is hella fun yeah it's just like wacky fun it's like yeah it gets crazy and you're in ha 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 difficulty and anything can kill you in one hit but you know what uh, my build is cool <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> i enjoy the, the items that i have yeah like what was the can't remember what i basically traded everything for was it soldier syringes or it was something else i can't remember was it it was crit wasn't it Maybe. Oh, you guys both were like trading out a bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. Crit. I think it was crit. It, that was, was crit? on the on on the ice level, right? Yeah. Yeah. At, on that that spiral. That was either so, yeah. yeah, it was either attack speed or crit. I can't remember which one it was, but My yeah, either attack one. Speed. But uh, that, that it's always fun just to imagine your character because we were playing robots has like fifty soldier syringes somehow embedded in him. Yeah. <laughs> just somewhere on his body. <laughs> And I do like yeah. how they stack some of the items on your character when you get them. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's very, very fun. But yeah, it's just a very nice little. I wouldn't say chill. It doesn't get. I mean, it doesn't stay chill for very long. But it's a nice, fun game you can play with friends. And you're just like, oh yeah, oh shit, I'm dying. Fuck. Oh cool, yeah. nice. Yeah, the runs uh, have like a nice parallel, like a nice little like like waveform of of fun. It's like oh chill, good. Especially if you've already played through the levels. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, this is nice, and it's like, ah, oh, really intense. And then, like, the next one's like, oh, it's nice again. Oh, cool. I'm going to get this item. <laughs> well, we got one round where we're, like, playing for, like, 50 minutes straight, I think, or something like that. Because it's, like, like, at least around. half the yeah, stream. Yeah. Yeah. Me, Coulter, and Spencer had a 90-minute run. Ooh. We were doing some weird shit in that one. Yeah. <laughs> we are doing some goofy shit. <laughs> um, what else did I play? Speaking of Coulter, I played Dead Island with him on Thursday evening, and there's more to that game. We've played for like two to three hours uh, every Thursday, except for two Thursdays in like the last two months or so. Like so, six. you know, so, all right, no, <laughs> at least nine or 12, excuse you. Uh, and it, I still don't care about anything that's happening in that game at all. And I, I reached a breaking point. Uh, Tech was there. He saw that uh, where we walked into a garage in the city. There was 10 characters, like nine or 10 characters in the garage. And they each had their own unique side quest. And <laughs> that prompted the question to me. I'm like, one, I'm not doing any of these fucking things at all. I don't want to do these. I don't want to. I, I just don't. And two, how many fucking side quests are in Dead Island? The answer is 95. Wow. There's 95 side quests of... Go get the guy, and hopefully he's either A, okay, or B, he's a zombie and you gotta kill him. Or go get the items, or go get the items and bring them to me. Those are the three, well, there's one one repeatable stuff. You can give water to some lady and alcohol to some other guy. Oh, I remember And that. you get, like, five experience points each. Yeah. But I just, uh, LOL, not all of them are useful. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't think... I mean, yeah, you get experience from them, but I just, I don't, 
I don't care enough. I don't want to. I don't want to fuck with that. I have more time. I have more fun just like shooting shit with Coulter and like just going like going through the story. Right. Well, not the story, but just going through the main campaign with him. Yeah, because it's like every other level. It's like oh. What's bu- what bullshit are they going to throw at us now? Oh, cool. Now there's rams. Oh, these guys have guns. Oh, we're using we're using guns now. Okay, cool, sweet. Um, so that's fun. We'll be doing that again uh, Thursday evening, I believe. Uh, played some Monster Hunter World. Nothing really exciting. Well, not nothing exciting. Not nothing really new there. Uh, they're going to have the Wild Hunt update for the PC in May, which is like m- months after the console things, but. I'm just used to being a um, oppressed PC gamer from the Japanese developers, and um, yeah, they don't like PC players. <laughs> it's like I'm their number one fan, but they all hate me. It's so weird. I don't enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. Um, excited for that. I'm also excited for the Iceborne DLC that's supposed to come out sometime this year, if I remember correctly. And played Warframe again. That's okay. I enjoy it. It's just I have the hardest time trying to set my controller for it because it apparently just hates the PS4 controller for some mm. reason. I think PC just doesn't work well with it. You have to get the D4 Windows. Well, yeah, I've tried. I mean, usually it's either like you can do a different like Steam controller configuration or you can use the DS4 Windows thing. And yeah. 99% of the time it works. 1% it doesn't work for is Warframe or random <laughs> indie games. That are like, oh, fuck you. Yeah. Uh, it's so weird because, like, it's a very unique problem where, like, it uses the mouse sensitivity for the the sticks. And that was okay. To, that, that was easy enough to figure out. But then, like, sometimes the buttons just don't work. And sometimes it, they do. And sometimes it just be like that. But, yeah. uh, <laughs> but, Who um, was it? Um, uh, Norline was, uh, he plays a lot with with ps4 controllers and when he plays Sekiro, he has to like open it in in big picture mode and stuff like that like a bunch of other things to get it to work oh yeah now um fun a quick little uh tutorial for that what you got to do for that is you just go to your i think you have to go through enter big picture mode but you just have to do this once where you have to configure the ps4 controller menu and then you just turn off like the gyro thing mm. and then it works just fine. I haven't had any problems mm-hmm. since then. Oh, we should clip this instead of Norlin. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah, no, I got your problem fixed for you. No, but um, mm-hmm. yeah, I do this sick thing where I use an Xbox One controller and it just works. I have an Xbox One controller, but then the RB button stopped working, and then I disassembled mm-hmm. it and tried to fix it, and now it doesn't mm-hmm. work at all. Oh, so <laughs> that'll happen. Like I so can I'm, do this. Well, I, yeah, I, I don't know what I, I might, might not have tightened something down correctly. I don't know, but I might, I, w- I want to send it to like one of the repair shops in town or something because it's it's like one of those custom controllers I got for like a Christmas a couple of years ago. Oh, um, like the Elite one or whatever. Well, yeah, no, I mean, it's just like custom. It's it's got the grips. It's the oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, that's nifty. It was really, that's I mean, a cool it's a very controller. nice commercial. Yeah, I really enjoy it. it just doesn't work. That's the the only downfall about that controller is it just doesn't fucking work. Every, everything else is fine. It's nice to but, display. Yeah, just hanging up on a wall somewhere. But um, yeah, that's in f- the end of my rambling. Uh, what have you two been up to? Uh, well, past couple of weeks, uh, Risk of Rain. Basically, already talked about that. Um, I will say the the engineer with uh, like the the the, the fungal heels thing. Having that mm-hmm. stacked was like awesome. We were just like sitting in this like a like a a, a healing waters thing, mm-hmm. just tanking damage and killing things. That was pretty cool. Um, I think it's one of the few times that I've I've played like a support type thing in, in a game like that where it felt like I was really actually doing something that was needed. That you mad? Yeah. yeah. Most of the time it's like yeah I'll heal you, but it's like it's not like that important. Like unless you're playing yeah. something like wow, but you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Um, and then. Uh, played uh we beat Sekiro. yeah yeah matt beat Sekiro, and i was there and i was like like the what would you call my position matt is advisor s- advisor scribe <laughs> scholar if you will um that game was great and uh um were we going to talk more about that today or are we going to do like a separate like spoiler thing or um 
I would say maybe not only just because I don't really like the only thing we haven't really talked about is the ending and all that and whatnot. Uh, and I would like to try to avoid the spoilers for that. If you gotcha. want to talk about like what you think of the gameplay and all that shit and whatnot, we can, but I just like up to where I'm at, we can talk about stuff, I guess. Right. I don't know. Well, we, we can, but I got you. Man, there's a lot of I stuff just, you don't know about. <laughs> true, yeah. yeah. We pretty much... Apparently, there's like two alpha hundred, fights. I don't know if there are <laughs> two alpha fights. Um, you gotta warn people yeah. before you throw out fake information like that, Fist Cake. Yeah, Duh. I guess I should... Well, I, I was just... I, I got suspicious when uh, Matt asked me uh, if I got to the second alpha yeah. fight. And I was See, like, the problem with that well, was I, is that I know, like, I played it and it seemed because we did everything. We just did yeah, everything. Yeah, we finished all the major quest lines that you could do. We did all the endings, all the optional bosses except for one. Yeah, we did all the optional bosses. Mm, um, beat all the headless. Beat all the headless. Beat all the apparitions. Like, we did all of that. Uh, and I, you know, not everybody has that same experience. Right. So I was like, oh, yeah, this is... I kind of, like, half led Matt down a lot of these roads because I found I kept finding stuff that was really cool. And mm -hmm. I, I'm, we were telling you this yesterday when we were hanging out um, that uh, uh, I, I just found that Matt had already done, like, the, like some prerequisites to some, some other stuff. And it, mm -hmm. it was something that he wouldn't have found. And uh, Matt's not the type of person usually to replay a game. So I wanted to... Uh, and I, I don't know if you would have, but um, I want I want to avoid like oh well you, you we're never gonna see this unless yeah. of course I played it and did it you know and he'd already done like he'd gone out of his way to do certain things and so I was like well you know and I'll just you know hey there's this thing by the way that uses that <laughs> item that you have yeah you know but uh, yeah it was fun it, it, I think S Sekiro when it comes to uh, the way that they put together their side quests and their NPCs and just how the the areas string together, it's so much more coherent than any other from software game. And everything feels like um, cohesive or, or what's the word when everything makes sense together? Coherent? I don't know. Yeah. yeah. But uh, it, it's, it's just there's a definite... Uh, uh, you know, sameness, but then at the same time they give you n like new areas to kind of mix it up, but not so far outside of what the the world is uh, uh, established as what would be um, expected. Right? It all makes sense mm. within uh, your you know, what you've been told from before and, and and what to expect. And, and I don't know, they, they just did a really good job of 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 of, of creating an environment that uh, and it was just smooth. Like everything felt good nothing was overly obtuse or anything like that yeah the quest lines Man. weren't like make sure you summon this person three times in a fight and then you'll continue mm. on their storyline yeah uh, although or I could just kill you and get your armor yeah. i don't like <laughs> i can just get the shit yeah. i will say some npc storylines are uh have better payoff than others so like it's mm. like oh, yeah. that way in most games but um yeah it was it was good all the optional bosses are really cool um mm. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I'm 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 finding it hard to talk any more about it without giving up the things I really want to talk about that are yeah. totally like spoilers. Um, I like how, even though I guess the optimal way of playing the game, you can just beat the game with just the sword. You know, uh, put some skill uh, s some skill points into the the passive bonuses, like the uh, not taking as much posture when you def block and, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then you could just beat the whole game like that. But there's a lot of really cool ways you can use, like like every boss is weak to a prosthetic in some way. Yeah. L like each one of them ha does have some type of weakness, right? Um, and I I thought that was really cool. Yeah, I didn't really take advantage of a lot of that. I think the big one was the firecrackers on the bull, mm. and then uh, like the fire on the guy in the beginning. Yeah, yeah, I'd say uh, firecrackers on the ape was my thing. I did use the firecrackers on the ape as well. Yeah. On the first one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Oh, I was going to say something else. Oh, like, uh, there's, there's a bunch of, like, weird kind of things you wouldn't even think to do. Like the, the, uh, uh, you know how you have to use, like, like divine confetti on everything? Mm. Uh, there's an item that gives you, it gives you divine attack after using it. Uh, it's like, the lilac shield. Yeah, the lilac shield. And that's really cool because if you run out of divine confetti, you can still get the divine attack bonus. And so that was like a lot of help in uh, the apparitions and, and the headless and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, so if you use the purple shield thing, it gives you a divine attack. attack yeah. And it also that. blocks against all apparition stuff. Yeah. 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 All terror. And so you can just hold it up and then like have all their dumb uh, spirit orbs hitting the shield and you don't take anything really. And then you mm. go up and you do like a special out of out of shield attack. And uh, oh. yeah, it's, it's real nice. Huh. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't take any divine confetti to use. Well, that's that's neat. I didn't know that, but I will still save <laughs> that divine confetti. Uh, oh yeah, divine is confetti still... is still useful, right? Yeah. But I think especially against the apparitions because they throw so many tiny like little orbs at you and stuff, and you're getting mm-hmm. all terrorized. Yeah. Hey, butter, what's going on? I uh, have Xbox. Uh, yeah, Xbox Game Pass commercial when starting to watch this. That's weird. <laughs> We're sponsored by Xbox. Thanks, I wish. Xbox. Get, get that Microsoft money. I don't think um, we're going to be sponsored by Xbox anytime soon since we've been shitting on Xbox One for like the last well, entirety of the existed. podcast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, just uh, just get better exclusives and be, uh, you know, maybe more of a challenge. You don't like Forza Motorsport or Forza 2 just, uh, or 5? Just, like, just, uh, just step up, uh, Xbox, you know. Oh, shit. So where are y'all going for a while? We're going to be here for the next 40 minutes or so. Don't be smart. Least, like, God damn it, <laughs> <laughs> Matt's going away for a couple months. He's got to take yeah. care of stuff. Yeah, I got a house to sit. Yeah, and and you know, as as long as the internet's not too bad, we're we're still gonna have like the the, the podcast and stuff like that. Not next week though. Not next week though. But yeah, yeah. Um, yeah so Sekiro, I I I'm not sure if we should talk more about it until we do like a spoiler cast where we can really talk about things. Um, but it's a great game. The 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 combat is really satisfying, even just to watch. Mm-hmm. Um, and I feel like the deflect system is sick. Yeah. Because if you deflect everything perfectly, it doesn't matter what your posture is. It's great. Yeah. Mm. That's, that's one of the things that took me a while to figure out. Like, that's like half, like 90, 90% of the game is just like, oh, that's how that works. Oh, this this is how that works. Oh, okay. And mm-hmm. then it's just you, the final, like, last few fights is always like, oh, now I have to use everything I've learned. Oh, God. No. It's like a test I didn't study for. I kind of just stumbled through. <laughs> the game is the test. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think after uh, Junichiro you know, like, kicked my ass because I was on that boss for like an oh, hour, two, like two hours. Was it two hours? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, after that, you just play like how the game's supposed to be played. Yeah, with the deflects and the being in their face and being aggressive and stuff like that. Yeah, and yeah. then you know everybody falls. Yeah, I feel like a lot. Like there are a few bosses that. The way they're designed, I think, serves to try to teach you um, how to better utilize a lot of that stuff mm. through just, oh, in order to beat him, you kind of have to do it, you know? Yeah. So that's cool. Uh, For yeah, sure. And, and then I will say the only drawback, and I think we already talked about this in a, in a previous podcast, the only major drawback to the game is the uh, the consumables <laughs> and how just rare everything is to get. Um, yeah. Uh, like most games... It, <laughs> It was. It didn't majorly affect the late game, but it also it felt like it was looming at any mo- moment. Like everything is is so finite. But uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, what else do we play? We played. Uh, well, yesterday we hung out with with you, Fiskick. You would know you're yeah. there. Um, we all played some Tekken Seven. We played some Smash Ultimate. Tekken Seven's mm-hmm. fun. Um, I feel like because I, I think I think you were alluding to this before. In order to really like enjoy playing it. You have to kind of just literally like pick a character and like learn how, like learn more of the language of how the game is. Mm-hmm. And you're like, oh, okay, that's how you play this. And I feel like that would be more fun. But we had some fun just beating each other up. It yeah, it was fun just picking it up and playing what we could play, anyways. Once we all kind of got a feel for it, we're like, okay, all right. We had our own strategy, strategies and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I was really good right from the start. 
You definitely, definitely did not get saying. blown out like eight times in a row in like less than 15 seconds. No, 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 no. Definitely no, but Matt picked fuck, it up. Fuck this game know? 10 times. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah. Yeah. yeah, just every time I died, I was <laughs> like, this game sucks. And I'm not sure if Matt ended up learning the game more or if he just learned uh, how to play against Spencer and Fistcake. <laughs> like the people. Yeah. <laughs> when you started to win. Like, Download complete. I don't think any of us learned the game. <laughs> Not really, no. We, we didn't yeah. really get past Nobody holding down the L1. Man. <laughs> Which that became like a game of itself. Like once you saw the assist, maybe you come up and was like, oh, oh nope, watch yep. out. Oh, yeah. oh, God, here we go. Mm-hmm. Oh, let me use my assist, maybe to throw them off their thing, thinking I'm about to attack. Nope, yeah. I'm not attacking. Nope, I did it a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, I'd hold it down and be like, am I? Am I? Am I? But really, I'm just trying to read the names. Like, oh, what the fuck we, does that do? <laughs> we made our own Tekken meta. <laughs> New meta. Tekken Amber. Taking amateur championships. Let's go. (laughs) No combos, only assists. Uh, And then we played Ultimate yesterday. Yeah, we played Ultimate. That was Mm. fun. Picked Uh, up Pichu. Yeah, Matt's been playing uh, a lot of Pichu recently. And I I feel like you're doing pretty good. You were kicking my ass. Then lost to Fist Cakes Ganon. Yeah. I brought shame upon my family. <laughs> we're talking about that yesterday, and they were like, hey, man, you know, like, were you trying, like, against Fist Cake? You're like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, were you? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. It's like, know oh, sure. you know, actually, I feel like, uh, you know, yeah, you're like, pretty good at the game, man. Mm-hmm. I was telling the Spencer, I was like, yeah, he just beat Pichu, like, straight out. I tried. I wanted to win. To be and fair, like, Gandorf's boots are very heavy. Mm-hmm. Like, yes. they weigh, they got to weigh at least Those aren't times. regulation. <laughs> You put more shoes in your boots. Poor little Pichu, man. It's like sixty <laughs> percent. Just like, uh, and you're dead. And I'm like, that's yeah, that's the matchup. And what's crazy <laughs> is, um, uh, you missed a lot of like, uh, like down air stuff. And if you had connected with that, a lot of the times you were going for it, it would have been like, it would just, it would just would have been worse. It's crazy. Yeah. Well, I mean, I have, I never really played a whole lot of Ganon. I mean, we all know I'm, I'm the Incena boy. Mm-hmm. So I forgot. Like, I had, I knew nothing about Gamma. What does he do? I forgot how to play Smash. Oh, God. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Just smash. Just smash all the time. Never stop smashing. Yeah. But that was fun. Um, it, it, well, what's especially funny about that is literally earlier that day, Matt's Pichu was destroying me. Yeah. Uh, what did your Pichu... Literally just ran circles around you. Uh, well, oh, like, shit. towards the end of the day, what was I playing against your Roy. Pichu? Was it Roy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Roy, like, prob- arguably the, my best character. Mm. Uh, got just knocked out. Uh, and I played Fox earlier in the day and did better against Pichu than my Roy yeah. did. It's just unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> but I hate to see it, Joe. Um, but, uh, oh, and then we played what, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but like, I think... I would say it's the quintessential Souls m- experience. Yeah, might be the mm-hmm. best Souls-like game outside of from, so- you know, from Software's... I don't know, it might rival titles. it. Um, this is Switch game. Um, seven dollars. You could own this amazing game for yeah, seven dollars. Yeah. It has this incredibly unique, one of a kind name. It's called Animus. Mm-hmm. Like, doesn't it, I got chills? Right, you know, like mm-hmm. just just like saying the name out loud. It's like, uh-huh. damn, yes. I'm shook. Yeah, just remembering back to like the the, the mm-hmm. incredibly in depth, uh, absolutely makes sense lore. Mm-hmm. Right, the mm-hmm. lore was out of this world right they, they were able to condense what was probably hundreds of years of events into like what two sentences yeah like two? somebody went as an english major like mm-hmm. that's the only thing mm-hmm. and and the combat just so it was satisfying yeah. uh you go it was a zero frame block <laughs> which <laughs> means one you frame. weren't blocking you hit the button immediate block no startup mm. who needs that shit no there's who no needs animation to show for either yeah you going like this to block you don't need that you just mm. are not and then are mm-hmm. <laughs> there's no frame in between yeah it's a just zero there. frame block i know what you're saying that's impossible they did it folks animus yeah anyways well, that game is garbage <laughs> no i think they were, what they were trying to do is like uh, go through the whole not not having to worry about make, making like iframes like you know how uh Dark Souls has iframes and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And they just like, well, we're trying to be different. So we'll just have no frames and then mm-hmm. just, you're just blocking. You just yeah, do you that. Know what Animus calls iframes inconvenient frames. Mm. <laughs> they removed them. <laughs> <laughs> this game has too many frames. Just cut it down. 
What's especially funny about that is like, uh, I don't think that there was a parry system. No. So you just mm. blocked really fast for the sake of doing it. Like there's no timing yeah. required in any of the fights. There's no there's no uh, test of your uh, skill in playing. You know, mm. it just happens. My favorite part of the game, right, mm. hands down, uh, has to be the weird burn in uh, uh, frames every time you hit somebody. Mm, where it would lag out sometimes and then and, turn you and, around. It would show the last action you just did for like a second. Like a couple of frames. Like, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. like, See, okay. they got rid of too many frames that time. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They had to back it up a little bit. Whoa, we're getting too crazy. They need to make up. <laughs> Here, mm -hmm. take some frames back. Uh, unsurprisingly, it's 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 a port from iOS and Android, um, and, yeah. it's and it's absolutely sucks. garbage. Don't ever it, don't yeah. fucking buy it. Don't, don't buy <laughs> it. It could yeah. be good. It had like little sparks of uniqueness. Yeah, that like the there's a charm cool. to it. Yeah. yeah, that could be okay. Yeah, but when but all the levels not... are literally just like an open gray gravel field with uh, mm. what could be cliffs or possibly rubble or walls of a castle, we're not sure. Um, uh, just surrounding you. It, it, it even has a fairy trail telling you where to go, and it's completely linear, so you don't need it. No, mm -hmm. there's nothing off the beaten path. <laughs> it's there's like no they put other. There's like no beaten path. A hundred percent effort to make this game like fifty percent good. <laughs> like it, it, it seems like they went out of their way just to make this game okay. Just enough. Uh, just enough. It's just like I mean, I guess that's like with most mobile games, but. Like oh, the, we're you know we're porting this to the Switch. Maybe we could you know make it cooler or something. Maybe we can uh, take down a few paragraphs and spruce up the English a little bit. No, and so Dane walked through the Valley of Death. He feared no evil, and then the Golem Sisters attacked. For yea, verily, they were also very upset about the calamity that happened that night so long ago. Mm. Why am I that here? Why you're am like, I yeah. I know it's yeah. all sisters. Those bitches, they're back. I hate them. Mm -hmm. I knew everything you just said yep. made sense. And it definitely yeah. connected with the previous lore drop we had a, a mission ago. Mm. Yeah, that game sucks. Yeah, it's terrible. Yep. Don't buy it. Okay. That's our PSA <laughs> for the day. Don't buy Animus. Oh, and man. then we play Melee. Yeah, we played Melee today, and we had a good Melee day. Um, I did the crazy, whoa, you know, wild thing. I, I started the day playing Fox. Um, whoa. And I usually play Fox. Oh, yeah, I know. Crazy. That's wild. Um, but I, 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 play, I played Fox, Fox, Fox uh, last week, and I was like, oh, you know, Fox is fun. There's a reason why everyone plays Fox, you know. Oh, shit. Um, so I was like, yeah, I'll start off the day. Usually if I play Fox first and then I go to switch to somebody else, I feel a little bit better. So we had a couple of, uh, of episodes with Fox, and that was fun. Matt doesn't get to play against Spaces uh, that often. No, so the that combo was, game is different. Yeah. So it was, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's it was a bit, a bit more even than it should have been. Um, but, uh, I, you know, I'm not going to too much more, but I, I had some good plays, right? I didn't, you know, mm. nothing that would yeah. break. like. A, so on the last video day, I'll tell the story. Shut up. Okay. Right. <laughs> I ended up switching to Marth. Yeah. Spencer switches to Marth. And I three owed you all the best of fives today, right? Besides that last one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and on the last games of game three. Yeah. Uh, Spencer's dead. He's falling to his death. And then I'm like, I'm Falco. Fuck it. And I go down there and I back air him and he hits the stage and I just fall and die. So I lose. Yeah. Matt, I only had one stock. Matt so inadvertently I, gave yeah. me the win. Mm -hmm. mm. And then I'm like, all right, whatever. I've been playing good. We go to Yoshi's, small stage. This is Falco's stage. You know, he lives there. He has a summer home there. All right. He knows Yoshi. All right. Okay. They're neighbors. All right. All right. And in like 30 <laughs> seconds, I just get demolished. I lose two stocks. I get comboed to 98% on my first stock. Yeah, Didn't good. even touch the motherfucker. All right. Destroyed. And it, it hurt. And I was like, this is what he feels like. <laughs> There's a reason the last 15 minutes of, 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 of some episodes is me <laughs> talking about my mind and my mental game. <laughs> so I got demolished <clears throat> game four. Mm. And I'm like, fuck that. I'm not going back to Yoshi's. I'm just, I, I got evicted. All right. <laughs> That's Marth's home now. <laughs> all right. I'm like, all right, let's go to Pokemon. They like me there. 
I do book signings there. All right. And then I just decimate uh, uh, Spencer on Pokemon. I I took a stock, but yeah, yeah. you definitely. I like... two stocked him right back. Like, mm, yeah. like I was out for fucking blood. I was like, we, we're racing for pinks. I want my home back. <laughs> yeah. But that Yoshi game was crazy. Like, I, I did some stuff that I don't usually do. And I was Never like, done. L- linking some crazy shit together. Doing Marth things that every other Marth does. Well, like, the, but, but, but like the really good Marths. Yeah. I was doing like really good Marth stuff, right? Mm-hmm. And usually mm-hmm. I'm just excited to do a Marth thing. <laughs> but this time I was like, I was doing Marth stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I didn't let Matt <laughs> have a second. Yeah. yeah. Live that Marth and, life. And, mm-hmm. uh, and then after I took his first two stocks, it kind of like, like the neutral reset a little bit. And mm-hmm. I'm like, oh shit. Oh, I better not fuck this up. <laughs> and Matt ended up taking two of my stocks before I ended up killing him. Yeah. It's but, not often uh, I get legitimately two stocked. Where yeah. I'm like, this sucks. Yeah. And then afterwards, Matt was... <laughs> I mean, you know, it's a mental hit, right? Yeah. You know? It, now he's got a scar forever. Mm-hmm. You always remember. Mm-hmm. It was a mental hit mm-hmm. for a, until I had selected Pokemon. Right. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, motherfucker thinks he can dance. My dude wants to play like his tourney. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> oh, shit. An official Neanderthal gaming TV tournament. Let's go. That's something that happens every once in a while. Like, like I will say, it's kind of like a me thing to be uh, usually playing kind of like not up to what I should be playing and then uh, have like a really good game out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Um, and I remember one time, this is a long time ago, I think we were playing Project uh, M, and, and Matt literally turned to me and he's like, were you like sandbagging before? Were you just <laughs> like giving me the win or something? Because all of a sudden, like, what are you doing here? Mm-hmm. I'm like, I don't know. Fuck, I'm just playing. Just... <laughs> uh, but um, yeah. The stars aligned. I'm good now. Yeah. For like a game. No, but I need to go back at that and like, just be like, what the fuck was I doing? <laughs> What's going on? I can't tell. Did he D either? Do I need to wait for that? I can uh, tell you. The first combo, I was starstruck. Shook. <laughs> I wouldn't say <laughs> Straight shook. shook. Seems like oh, you're a shook. strong word. I was I was shook after you took my second stock. And I, you had like 18%. Then yeah. I was shook. Yeah, I'd barely take any damage. It was crazy. Yeah. Um, it's, I mean, it's, okay. it's okay to be shook. Yeah. It happens to the best of us. I just admitted shook I was shook after the second one. He just, he, you know, his bugbear was that um, when the shookening happened, mm-hmm. when it occurred. Uh, mm-hmm. First, you know, God, let you it know, be known. Everybody gets lucky, right? So I was oh, like, eh, I'm better. <laughs> That's what I said. I'm better. Yeah. And then I was like, nope. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> no, not better. <laughs> not this time. Oh, God. All right. I'll see you next game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It was, uh, it was a good day for Melee, though. It was a good day. I think we both had some really crazy shit. Yeah, it was fun. It was but, a good, uh, uh, a good uh, uh, week to end it on. Yeah. Instead of one of us being like, oh, man, I didn't play like I wanted to. Yeah. Mm. Both had some epic video gamer battles. For sure, for sure. <laughs> All right. Well, let's uh, let's go into our, our, our first of, of, of just, oh, so many stories today. Um mm. So, uh, this is really just an announcement, but Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order was uh, just recently, they dropped a teaser trailer. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I mean, at first glance, looks pretty good, right? Uh, you can't really judge the whole game based on the, on the teaser. We've had so many times before where it's like, ah, this isn't the same game. Man, but, uh, Dead uh, Island. Like, I will, uh, I will say the cinematic, <laughs> the graphics are actually like, like, it's, it's probably 5% more than what I expected, and that five percent mm. does so much, like the textures on the metal and stuff like that, and the the character stuff is like they just did like a really good job of making it look really good. Yeah, um, and it looks uh, very pretty. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you know, uh, supposedly there's going to be saber combat. Mm. Well, and, yeah, it's and, a Star Wars game, right? But uh, I, I guess, I just hope that it's not like shitty. <laughs> like, yeah, it's it. We've only had one game series in the entirety of of the Star Wars, uh, panth- you know, Pantheon or whatever Pantheon that like actually had decent saber combat. So I'm mm-hmm. hopeful. And apparently, it's going to be a single player story mm-hmm. game. So no multiplayer. No, this is what they say. It's being made by Respawn. Um, obviously mm-hmm. published by EA. Um, and I mean, I mean, Respawn 
they have a pretty. I feel like they have a pretty good track record for for uh, games. First person shooters. Yeah, for first person shooters, yeah. right? But uh, apparently, like the storyline in Titanfall Two is like pretty good. Mm-hmm. So I'm 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 interested to see how they uh, like how they tell the story. Yeah, they're very good at first person shooters and like the being fast as a first person shooter. Unlike right. which Call of Duty and other games have not really done. Right. Not to like the same like degree, I guess. Yeah. But uh yeah, so I'm I I'm really curious. It's coming out this year. Mm-hmm. I really like the trend of announcing a game and then having it come out like in l- less than a few years. That is you know, I think recently. they've kinda had to move away from that because uh, or move away from the old one, like, hey, it's coming out when like three years top 2022 like, oh, oh god it's like why'd you even fucking tell me i'm gonna forget <laughs> well yeah i think they've got like a lot of feedback and plus people have like five second attention spans nowadays anyways yeah. so mm-hmm. it's just like oh five years from now uh i don't what, i don't I know how to like for breakfast then? yesterday yeah. <laughs> yeah for real how many kids will i have <laughs> yeah, I think the only game that I've been consistently like hyped about, um, even though like it's be- it's been a while, is Cyberpunk. So I can't wait. Yeah, for that. and they re- announced that shit way too fucking early. They did. Yeah, yeah. I'm still like, it's, I'm still excited. <laughs> like it's still like it's next year, right? Or is it this year? I can't remember. I don't. I still. They. I don't think they've said this is when it's coming out. Yeah, they don't have like, oh, a shit. release date. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, uh, they CG Project Red or whatever they. Uh, they made Witcher three, and that game was amazing. So, yeah. So we'll see. I mean, fingers crossed. I mean, I never wish for a game to be bad. Uh, but, of course, uh, we'll see. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, so that's happening. That's cool. Um, or kinda, for uh, another Star sorry. Wars Jedi game. Go ahead. <laughs> so I keep talking over you. Um, that's cool. We were having this uh, kind of discussion before the podcast. I was like, I'm, my fingers are crossed, but I'm not hopeful. But I don't think it's just EA. I'm just kind of pessimistic about games nowadays. Anyway. From AAA, it, like, developers? Just AAA, usually, yeah. It's I don't know. It's just, like, even, like, with uh, with having, like, your um, Renown or whatever, whatever video game companies making what, I'm still always, like, like oh, here's hoping it's going to be good. I don't know if it's just a me thing or if, like, some, like video games have just been kind of, like, on and off for the last few years or whatever. Uh, I, I don't think it's just a you thing. I mean, uh, we've seen so many, like questionable choice mm-hmm. scenarios with things like you know oh anthem bethesda yeah. like just doing like the weirdest yeah. shit right <laughs> um uh yeah anthem uh the whole shadow destiny. of mordor thing destiny like, mm-hmm. uh, like, like like there's plenty of examples of just less than expected less than like in it's, some cases uh what should happen mm-hmm. <laughs> it's uh, like you do like <laughs> to me it feels like hey listen Whatever you do, don't fuck it up, okay? It's going to be a great game. Don't fuck it up. Like, we won't press the button. I swear. We won't press the fuck it up button. We won't do it. Then some new intern comes in. And he's just like, what's this button do? Oh, God damn it. He fucked it up. Loot boxes, <laughs> microtransactions, Shit, God, multiplayer <laughs> tacked on modes. Fucking don't. Oh, Battle I've around. added a BR. Yeah. <laughs> Timers for chests to <laughs> open a fucking chest. Oh... <laughs> also, don't don't play Blades. It's not very good. <laughs> I've been on and off with it for a couple weeks now. It's still bad. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Companion app. Uh, yeah. But right. yeah. <laughs> but yeah uh, I mean, I want this game to be good, and I think like I think it will be good. I just I just uh, I'm I'm pessimistic. I, I'm always like I have to keep my eye on video games. And that's mm-hmm. a very sad state to be in for people. Yeah. Like well, us. yeah, but then you got like Sony in the background going like, "Ooh, well, we gave you God of War, fucking Spider Man, mm. uh, Horizon Zero Dawn." Like mm. we're pumping out fucking bangers left, right, and centers. We got mm. like, like a 10, 10, 10, 10. That's all we fucking make nowadays. Yeah. Hey Sony, can I play with my Xbox friends? No. Yeah. What about my Switch friends? No. And then they're like, okay, but everybody fine. Everybody else is doing it. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay, well, fine. Okay, maybe we'll do... Okay, wait. For no, fine. One, Here's God of War 2, and you're like, all right. <laughs> you're uh, forgiven. Right, you know what? Okay. <laughs> all right. Okay. That's my dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. God damn it! Yeah. Oh. 
Man, video games are the worst. Anyways, what's next? <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, next, I'm, like, I'm too cynical to be cynical anymore. If that makes wow. any sense. <laughs> like, I'm just He's I'm ascended. I'm 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 over it. Right. Like, anytime there's like, oh, this fucking thing happened, eh, I'm like, I don't care. Like, it's it's more like yeah. a like of course. Like in the whole like oh, epic game store shit. I'm like, I don't I don't I don't care. Oh, no. I just I don't. You're tired anymore. You're tired of it. That's not a good like, thing to happen. <laughs> like I was just like it's the same shit, different day. Mm. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I, uh, get something new. <laughs> Have a new <laughs> controversy. Come <All> right. on. <laughs> <laughs> Which uh, I'll give credit to uh, Randy Pitchford. He's made some uh, great controversy in the last year or so. That so that, that was new. It was it was it was, yeah, it was, it was a nice Did you read his giant fucking twit thing or tweeter tweeter? He's he done tweeted. Uh, <laughs> oh god, he, twit longer. Yeah, he didn't have a twit longer, but it was like a multi. It was like nine or ten paragraphs about how Jeez. Steam sucks and um, Epic Store is good. And I'm like, ooh, that's that's strong. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you're you're you already you already pocketed the money. All right. Yeah, you already got the money. It's you could take like... <laughs> ten cents dick out of your mouth. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But also, I will, you know, still buy Hades on mm. the game store because that game is awesome. That's that's oh, yeah. the difficult thing. It's like, you know, um, oh, you know, don't buy games in this thing. But like, yeah, but like, there's some good games. And, you know, Hades especially want like a very good example where it's like, it's not like a big company. So, like, yeah. oh, you're just going to let this, you know, it's it's a moral dilemma. Yeah, mm. okay. and that's like ah, I'm gonna get Hades, <laughs> and oh, like, Hades well, like if it's good, I'll buy it on the store. Like, yeah, like I I don't I don't care that they're doing these exclusive things. This thing like the exclusive shit that's gonna die off in like two years tops. And what, right, they're yeah, just building yeah. up their storefront, whatever. And you know, honestly, it's not any different than console exclusives. It's just now it's it's software based. It's just people are like remembering like. Because it's a new thing, and they're like, "Oh yeah, but Epic uh, sells your information," and it's like, "Well, you know, Steam has, you know, probably done that, and Sony for sure has li like lost uh, security protected passwords and information like two and or accounts. three times, yeah, big ones, in yeah. like the last ten years or so, yeah, yeah. From, yeah. so it's yeah, like Yahoo's had it mm -hmm. happen to them, like, well, yeah. then they, they they had like the Epic Games launcher. There's a big controversy, like it's reading when you are on the thing, and if you it mm. reads everything that you're doing, and then the dude, some coder was like, nah, it doesn't, it doesn't yeah. do that at all, like yeah. stop being stupid, and yeah. then everybody's like, but it does, and you're like, <laughs> you flat Earth motherfucker, <laughs> all right, look, okay. it's been proven it doesn't. Yeah. Shut up. I mean, like, the only reason I don't have it is because I think I've told you guys either off stream or on stream, I can't remember what, but like when I've had it for a week, I, I just kept like, it was like, oh, somebody tried to get in your account, you need to reset your password. I'm like, oh, okay. I mean, that's understandable. I'm sure it happens every once in a while. But then it kept happening. And then like, I kept like getting emails about other stuff. I'm like, I'm just going to, I don't know what it is. And I don't even know for sure if it's epic, but I'm just going to delete the store launcher. And then now I haven't had anything in yeah. such a long time. So I don't mm -hmm. know if like somebody is femininely trying to hack me and trying to get oh. my information through epic or could epic it possibly? Just like, hey, you, man, fuck you. Yeah. yeah like, uh, <laughs> because I get these things all the time when I uh, ever log into like Steam at like any other location besides my computer. What if it was just confused, and when you were logging in automatically on your computer, it thought somebody else was trying to? Well, I haven't. I mean, this is the only computer that's been using my Steam for, like, the right. last three or four uh, years. Well, so. yeah, I was talking about the Epic Launcher. Yeah. Well, also, this would be the only... What? Well, 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 what I'm saying is, like, there's a feature there that is supposed to be protecting that type of stuff. And if you try to log into a different computer on your Steam, you'll get a thing like, hey, especially if you got your password wrong, it'll be like, hey, someone tried to access your your, your thing. You're like, yeah, that was me. Yeah, okay. But like, I mean, yeah, so I was just, I, I had like a fleeting thought like, oh, you know, maybe it could be something where it, there's some weird code thing that it doesn't, it doesn't have it saved that that's your preferred device or some shit. But, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it was, I think it was like probably something like that, but either way, I'm, that's the only reason why I got rid of it. I don't really care about exclusivity it's weird but i mean it's whatever it's 
just like more, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna go away yeah. like yeah. in like a year or two right oh yeah for sure like it's not like this isn't like a they're just building up their storefront to get people in the door it's the same shit that like brick and mortar like uh, every like every like, uh, yeah, like GameStop having special you just GameStop ride the wave editions. you pussies not yeah. everything needs to be an outrage Mm -hmm. I'm so against that stupid outrage culture shit. I'm against calling everything culture too. Yeah. Oh shit. True. Yeah. I hate it. <laughs> I think culture instinct do, cynicist. Like yeah, they just go like <laughs> they get like. Oop. I'm so anti culture. <laughs> People who get ultra mad at like the smallest things is it, like it's it, it is absolutely tiring. Just to, like oh, okay, well, uh, what is the world mad at again? Gamers mm -hmm. in outrage. Name a more dynamic duo. Twitter uh, and gamers. Mm, mm. Twitter's an out. Twitter and outrage. There we go. That's the strongest. I mean, yeah, that's what it's it is true. right there. It's not just games. Hollywood that and sexual mad. allegations. Mm. Anyways, um, so Twitch sings was released, and so what are they singing? <laughs> uh, I don't know, but uh, it's 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 being made by Harmonix, which is the company that was integral in. The whole the rock, band rock band wars, band, you know, um, two thousand five to yeah nine, I think is and, when. And, yeah, um, and it's yeah. it's basically just the singing portion of rock band. I don't know. It has like a lot with of Steam. cool oh, wait, Steam, but Twitch. with Twitch. It has like a lot of cool integration. Yeah, mm -hmm. stuff. the level of integration is like oh, that's it's actually pretty sick. Yeah, like people were were uh, we're watching uh, <laughs> Nordline do it. <laughs> Oh, Name God. a more dynamic duo. Do us and watching Norline. But uh. <laughs> um, yeah, he, he, he did a surprise thing where you opened up a stream with him singing a song. It was pretty funny. But uh, like when people were putting emotes in there, it was showing up on like a screen behind him and like mm -hmm. a swirl. And it was like, it didn't take itself seriously. Like like, like the, the the emote, uh, uh, you know, the, the resolution on the emotes like wasn't that great. But it was all emotes from his stream. It was even like his, his, his unique ones. And so it was like directly integrated. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And then uh, it had a special thing that showed up when people like, would sub, would sub like, like, on the screen. It was and, cool. Yeah. It's, it's nifty. We're probably not going to do it. But I like, no, I like that, you know, I think I'm, I think it's cool that it exists just in general. Like it's, it's, it's not like just a, like a dumb thing. Mm. Like it seems pretty Yeah, it seems really like like well, well integrated and looks nice and it's sick yeah yeah it's not just like oh yeah well it's an extension you put on your browser for twitch and then you sing words and sometimes they can drop emotes and the bits will sing with you sometimes no it's like an actual unique app yeah or whatever that it's you like, can a, actually like use. a legit game that works with twitch mm. you know. and apparently the song database is pretty crazy yeah he was uh he was singing like I, the uh, beatles i am yeah, the walrus i am the walrus uh, it's like a, it's like, it's just like a ton of songs. They have a bunch of like uh, Queen songs I might do at one time for like a, yeah. just a fun little some, stream. Yeah, I'm terrible but, uh, at singing, but so it'll be terrible for everybody. But anyways, <laughs> yeah. Um, and then we have uh, this just like creepy, uh, you know, Toad Labo uh, thing that was uh, posted on Twitter. Yeah, uh, where like this woman is stomping on Toad's dick. Well, no, it's him doing sit-ups, and you use the foot pedal on the Labo kit to make him do sit-ups, man. Yeah, it's not like a weird foot dick, fetish though. thing. But, like, no, but guys, it's not, <laughs> it's not a foot fetish. No, guys, come on now. It's, come on. We, it's, a, the it's a children's he makes. game. The sounds he makes. <laughs> well, no, those are just normal toad sounds. That's just what he sounds like when he's doing sit-ups, okay? Mm -hmm. It's not a foot fetish thing. I just I wish can't you think guys of would any stop saying it's a foot fetish that thing. God. That involves assisting somebody to do sit ups with just your foot and not having it be weird. Like, I think it's less of a foot fetish thing and more like a. What do they call it when they. You like. A healing? Stop on you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know, like a like crush fetish, I think. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, sure. I guess that's what it's called. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Uh -huh. some, I can't some, even see a movie where a dude gets hit and I'm like, oh, God. I don't know how these motherfuckers jerk off to that. I don't know. People are crazy. But yeah, anyway, so apparently uh, Nintendo's promoting his latest lab okay with a with this green toad, which apparently has been like a huge deal in like Japan's uh, messaging service called Line, which I'm not entirely sure what that is. I mean, I guess you just like have additional emojis and shit. And I'm, it's probably like WhatsApp or something like that. Yeah. Probably, yeah. And like... <laughs> They show a picture where like Green Toad is like hanging out in an Undertale, and uh, 
He was somewhere else. Oh, what is this? Oh, never mind. That was just like the only thing I could see on this article. Mm-hmm. But for the Lobo kid, they have Toad like sitting back, his arms behind his hand, looking like he's about to do a sit up, and then you use the foot pedal, which, like you guys were saying, you're stopping straight on his dick. <laughs> to help him do sit-ups. And he's grunting in time with it. Although mm-hmm. I think the grunting is to let you know how fast you're supposed to do it. I don't oh, think maybe. it does it based on when you stop. Uh, so it's based well, then, on realism. <laughs> we, we also don't even know like what it corresponds to in the in the game. Like we yeah, don't they see, just like, show the poor play. toad getting stomped on. He's making yeah. noises. They just show like the Lobo like extension itself and like no whatever, like no actual no gameplay. Context. Like, yeah. <laughs> So you just see this like foot stomping on Toad. He's like, eh, what? <laughs> Perfect. You know, Toad sounds. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, it's exactly what he sounds like. And then there's one of him getting eaten by a bird, of the Lobo bird, excuse me. And then there's oh. one they were showing from a few years ago where it's just like a cardboard Falcon? cutout. Well, it has a blue Labo-dee? beak. So. Labo- well, yeah. Labo-dee. Falcon Labodi. God damn it. All right. <laughs> Fucking nerd. <laughs> you want to talk about Gundam some more? Oh, it's a good shit. You should watch it. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I'm it's sorry. A cartoon. <laughs> like cartoons could be good. Look, I'm coming for I every motherfucker day. I love hey! Digimon. <laughs> <laughs> you don't take Digimon's name in vain. Oh, yeah. I forgot you like Digimon. Oh, man. No, oh, jeez. I mean, that's fine, but you also like Berserk, too, which, I, yeah, I don't see why you should on cartoon. Why you should on anime, dude? Because <laughs> I'm, I'm, I don't like anything that's popular. Did anime hurt you while you were It's a the child? punk rock inside. It's the punk rock, dude. I can't turn it off, all <laughs> right? It's fucking reason for everything. <laughs> oh, speaking dude, of it's punk just rock. just the punk rock inside. You're, like, oh, you should, you're just being like, yeah, you just being, eh. no, it's the punk rock that's being, eh. it's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to work on it. It's just what I am. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, speaking of punk rock, oh yeah, perfect. Oh, oh yeah. nice. Yeah, I did it. I did the thing. No, you're gonna say it. You're gonna finish the thing. Dude? Oh, you want me to do? Oh, okay. yeah. You so, started it, motherfucker. <laughs> um, uh, so apparently, uh, there was some uh, homophobic uh, poster on Division Two. It's a reference to the uh, the cover of the 1981 single. It doesn't say off here. Oh, God, I had to click on the link again. Oh, God, by Black Flag called Police Story. And it has, like, the picture of, the, like, the, the police officer's face on the article, on the on the album. But, so, like, you could definitely tell that, like, oh, this is a reference to the album. Okay, I get it. That's cool. But apparently, if you zoom in on the police officer's badge, it, uh, it spells out F-A-6-6-0-7, which... Took me a minute to figure out that like it was the 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 homophobic slur that starts with the f word. Mm. Uh, nice. Um, and yeah, so like, <laughs> like when I was reading the article, I'm like, it shows a cop who's wearing a badge whose number is F A six six zero seven. I'm like, what's wrong with that? But then like, if you actually look at the picture, it looks a lot more like the actual word than it does look like the numbers and shit. So, um, what happened? So basic. Oh yeah. I forgot to actually like talk about the thing. Um, yeah, they issued an apology. Yeah, yeah they said like change we, it. Yeah, so they're working on that. Which, yeah, which I mean I don't blame honestly. Yeah, yeah. So like, yeah. just get rid of the badge. Really, that's everything else is fine. Just yeah, get rid of the yeah. badge. <laughs> yeah, just get rid of the badge. Uh, yeah. So my initial assumption, because like uh, my first look, I hadn't clicked on the link that actually went to you know that showed the uh, the, the album title, which is I would say much more straightforward about. Yeah. what they're saying uh oh, yeah. worse i should say it's just you know it's uh but it's black flag from the 1980s mm. you know but um you talk about some punk rockers yeah they're <laughs> super punk rock but uh so i hadn't realized that this wasn't the artwork that was actually on the album so like i don't know if this is specifically uh, uh some type of fan art or some alternate art uh, like, is this something that was put together for the game, or was this already existing and then they input it into the game? You know, like, there's no real information about that. It's just like, oh, sorry, this got past our content filters. Uh, our bad, we'll remove it. You know, but because that I think would would better determine whether, uh, you know, we should judge them for it if that makes sense. 
Because mm. if, if this was like something that was supposed to be a reference and it was put together by like some artist that worked for Ubisoft as like a, a little nod, uh, then um, yeah, you know, we should judge them for it. But it, if it was a pre existing image mm. in association with a song, um, because it's not like the same image that's on the cover of the album or on the cover of the single, uh, then it, like, like, yeah, it's a faux pas, but it's not as bad. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, and Matt's looking it up right now, and uh, it's uh, it's not like the image that's in the game is not really showing up when you try to look it up on Google. Yeah. So it's just the the album art. Mm. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, but it has the same like style. Yeah. It's that like eighties. Well, yeah, it's like so. It's like the the common thing between the two images is there's a cop sweating. And staring at something that's being put in his mouth, and you in the division two, it's a donut. So that's weird that he's like freaking out about eating a donut because he's mm -hmm. a cop. Am I right? Fuck the police now. But uh, <laughs> the black flag one is like a gun being pointed into his mouth and says, "Make me, uh, you know, do stuff." F word. Okay. Um, basic punk rock stuff. Yeah. Basic punk rock stuff. I mean, it's really the punkest of rock it's ever been. Yeah. So it's, like it's, they basically stole his head and then added like a bunch of other shit to it, and it's like, well, you didn't yeah. have to put in the badge number. You really didn't have to do that. Like you could tell with a face by itself. It's like, oh, yeah, gotcha. Like if it's something they put together, then some artist was like, I think I feel like we can get away with this, and then they didn't. Well, <laughs> well it but also like, kind of keeps in line with the with the with, with the, the, the source material with the source material. Yeah. Though. From an art standpoint, like kind of. I mean, I get they, they use the same word in both things, but like. It's a different, like, like, are, is his, <laughs> so is, never mind, I'm not going to go down this road. Because it's, it's, it, it's, it, it alludes that that's, that that's his badge number, you know? Mm. But, uh, yeah, yeah. So, so that happened, they're removing it. I would think that it would be, just like you were saying, just like, I don't know, get rid of the letters or I mean, numbers or yeah, just, just get rid of the, numbers. The, the badge or, you know, just yeah. edit it and then just, and then you're totally capable of keeping it in, right? Because mm. it's it, it would still do its job. Yeah, yeah absolutely. but like, I think yeah. it has a lot to do with what, <laughs> like, like, like. like uh, if, just, don't uh, argue to keep it in. Come on, now. I'm just <laughs> saying. Don't like, do it. <laughs> don't. It's fucking art, dude. You censor yeah. everything because yeah. well, it's offensive to you. Not you in particular. I'm yeah, talking to people. Or like, it, it's even just potentially offensive. Yeah, like, is that's a very super slippery slope. Like, yeah. we have a friend that's like that. Where, you know, you're, you're just like, why, why? Why be offended? Like, yeah. like not everything requires that, that response, you know? I get, like, people going out of the way to be offended, but I also feel like this person went out of their way to make sure... Like they kept that in there, like the word itself. Yeah. Because like, I mean, I mean, really, yeah. You could the top half. It looks exactly like the same art from before, but I don't know. Yeah. I'm. Yeah, I'm just like. I feel like the art did its job. Yeah. <laughs> 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 There's no way you can be like, like ah, that guy's a uh, fucking look at yeah. him, cis motherfucker. Oh my god! He's like, you just you like you just not get offended by it. You can just choose not to. Yeah, it's not like it's like Voldemort. What? <laughs> no one says his name. Oh, it's like, he must not be named. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh. Uh, right. Yeah. No, but I, I'm not saying it's not offensive, but it's not like. But that's like that's like not the point. Yeah. Yeah. Like. Um. Uh, so Matt, we. Are you trying to say that it's okay for art to sometimes be offensive and that it shouldn't be a problem? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. I would think that it's in Ubisoft's best, best interest. Yeah, to they shouldn't have done it in the because, first place. Uh, mm. It probably is outside of whatever rating they they have for the game. You know, it's like, like Walmart coming out with something like that. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Obviously, it shouldn't have happened, but it did. And mm. then now they're being like, oh, this is bullshit. Can't believe that this would happen. I feel like they're, yeah, the more we look into it, the, the more it's like, you, it seems like an, an artist that they probably had do it, did it, which means why are they like, oh, well, how did this get past our filter? You know, so nah, it's just take responsibility, but yeah. Nah, yeah. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that happened. It was, it was you know, mm. an interesting 
event for Ubisoft. They've been dealing with that type of yeah, criticism and then recently. The, and then the, then in the article, there's another one that's like, oh, and then they had an animation in For Honor that looked like it groped the female fighter. So I added a new finish animation was a victim of a female fighter class appeared to grope her. Oh, I didn't even... So? Wait, scroll up. He's not even t touching her. He's, he's, he's touching her shield. What? Oh. oh, it's like a special execution called no touching. Yeah. They're probably just trying to be facetious. Oh. Yeah. I thought it was just looked weird. Well, never mind. Uh, apparently, yeah. They knew just... exactly what they were doing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's a whole <laughs> Assassin's Creed. And just like that, I'm off their side. <laughs> That's the way Matt works. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, we want to do, well, I don't know. Do you really want to talk about anything else here or I mean, you the rest wrap it of up? It, you know, like more Combat 11, they're going to have microtransactions. It's just going to be for cosmetics and it's completely optional. Yeah. Well, then yeah. In Mortal Kombat X, they had the microtransactions where you could buy easy fatalities. Oh, shit. I remember yeah. that. Yeah. Apparently, yeah. they're not doing that. Yeah. That was stupid. That was good. Yeah. That was yeah. very dumb. So it's like, okay, you know, honestly, nowadays, microtransactions for, uh, and, and these are even optional. Like, you can still get the thing, like, a cosmetics in game without, like, the coins. Mm. It's just like, you can get it faster. If you want to pay money for it, you can. Yeah. Which I feel well, like is probably one of the better ways to do microtransactions is like, hey, it's here if you want to give us the money for it. Yeah. Just purely cosmetic or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, unless it takes you ten thousand hours to. That's do the only it. thing. Looking at you for yeah. honor. You oh my god, for look honor, at that! Dude. The grind. You just mm -hmm. tie it right back in. Fuck Ubisoft. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Ubisoft. <laughs> oh god. Oh well. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, okay. but uh, I mean, yeah, and besides that, there's there's not really anything else that was, I feel like is is super important. Um, nah. So we can go ahead and, and, and wrap up the show. Uh, Fistcake, why don't you tell people where they can find you and what you're doing? In hell, JK, uh, um, you can find me on twitch.tv slash fistcake. I stream Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, usually 2 p.m. Stream start at 2 p.m. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, they also start at 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. I'm on YouTube, youtube.com slash superfistcake or whatever. Find me on there. We'll finally have regular videos coming out. Uh, I'll have an update video telling everybody what's going on with the, the channel. Um, but that's pretty much it from oh and on Twitter. I'm on Twitter sometimes. I tweet things. Um that's it for me. Where can people find you two? <laughs> Yo, we don't have the budget for those shoes that they sell in Sweden. <laughs> that is a reference that I don't understand. Man. You know those like clop the clogs? Things? Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 That's in clog. Denmark, dude. Oh, Denmark. Whatever, dude. I think it's I'm pretty sure like, Denmark. The same You're country, so basically. <laughs> you, really, you, you really do not care about culture. It's so true. <laughs> it's just part of your character. I'm telling you, dude. Wow. I'm American. <laughs> through and through. <laughs> but then at the same time, I don't like the whole like um, America, America thing. Yeah, know? I don't like that either. <laughs> See? Um, just a little, yeah. just a little Look, punk rock. I don't like everything equally. And I'm not going to learn your country. <laughs> All right? I barely know mine. Funnily enough, also doesn't like it when people say I, like, I, I hate everything equally. Yeah, it's a fine line with me. <laughs> I'm a very complicated individual. I live in basically mostly blacks, but some grays, very few whites. Uh, not the, the, not the people. For Nancy, giving you TV information, uh, you can check us out on YouTube and uh -huh. Twitch at Twitch.tv. Oh, well, uh, you know, just Nancy Gaming TV. You can find us there. Mm. Uh, for uh, tweets and stuff, uh, it's at Nancy GTV. Uh, we're, we're putting out Smash content, and uh, once Matt has uh, gone on his two month uh, slash two year slash two decade, uh, mm -hmm. you know, leave of absence, which isn't really a leave of absence, but anyways, uh, I'll have more time to do some editing, and there's going to be a bunch of like edited content coming out, hopefully. Uh, so uh, you know, just we decided a while ago that just putting up the Twitch bots for some stuff. Things like the forest and 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 things that where there's just a lot of downtime that nobody gives a shit about, unless mm -hmm. you're watching it live, um, it's probably better for it to be edited. And there's a lot of really funny moments, so I still want to have something come out. So we're working on that. Um, so stay tuned. But uh, as far as content complete specific information, uh, you can catch us on Twitter at concomcast. 
You can uh, send us ideas and suggestions to constantcompletecast at gmail.com. The podcast does go live at 3 p.m. Pacific time on Sundays uh, at twitch.tv slash concomcast. It's still twitch.tv slash concomcast, right? Or is it changed? No, it's content 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 complete. Slash content yeah, I need complete. to change that. Yeah, I need to change that. So That's going to be in the to-do com- list of the editing. Yes. So <laughs> twitch.tv slash content complete, which is so much better, by the way. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm glad that we were able to get that. And then uh, the all episodes are available on YouTube. Audio only version is available on your favorite podcasting app, and both are released on Mondays. So we stream on Sundays, and the very next day, we uh, release in audio and video format. Uh, but anything else? Uh, any last words, fellas? So for sure, we're not going to do this next week, and yeah, then after that, sure. it's like a maybe for anything else. I think you know, like as as, as far as shows go, the podcast is probably the least one to be worried about. Yeah. Okay. Uh, because it's just a you know a video call. Yeah. Um, and I'll still be running it here, of course. Uh, okay, but, cool. Uh, as far as the other streams go, we're going to have to get creative, which might yeah. be fun. So, But right. uh, yeah, thanks so much, so much for uh, hanging out, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Bye.